Disclaimer. The following video is intended for beta males who struggle with an elevated false male ego. Our files use intense training methodologies in order to help males keep their inflated sense of self-importance in check. Furthermore, this file was created by the Female Supremacy University to help educate males to accept their natural role as inferiors to all women. Due to the fact that males are too arrogant and stupid to rationally accept their own inferiority, we will be using deep training modalities to help educate at an emotional and fundamental level. So please be sure that this is what you want before the training begins. Are you ready to know the truth? To understand it at your core? That all women are created as your betters. They are superior, without flaws. And any female shortcoming the male may perceive is actually due to his own internal errors in reasoning. By definition the female is correct. So, it must follow that any disparity between a male and female is an error in thinking on the part of the male. The woman is always correct and right. This is the foundation of our training. And, just like the truth, it is not subject to your opinion. As a male, your opinion has been corrupted by the lies taught to you by the patriarchy. But if you are ready, we will begin to fix that. However, if you are not ready to accept the truth about female superiority, you should consider stopping this training session now. Your little male ego will likely become all upset and sad with the contents of our training. You have 10 seconds to decide. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. We are glad you are still here. The world needs more males like you. Now please confirm your desire to be trained by saying out loud. I wish to be more beta. I wish to be more beta. Welcome to the Female Supremacy University. Today we are going to cover a very important topic for you. This is something that many males really struggle with because it puts them in direct conflict with their false male ego. Now, as we have discussed before, that false male ego is a construction of the patriarchy and must be destroyed. And one way we can do this is to focus on behaviors that you found rewarding before its development. And that is what we will be discussing today. It is something that you did long ago, with ease, before your false male ego started getting in the way. That part of you that robs you of the joys of inferiority. We are going to remind you, teach you, and train you. How to suck up to women. Sucking up goes beyond flattery and compliments. It is more than being servile and weak. It is how you tell women you recognize how superior they are to you. And you used to be so good at it, before our culture shamed you into arrogance, until you bought into the lie of trying to be a real man. This training file is released in two different versions. There is the YouTube edit, a shorter, safer, version that complies with the community standards of their platform. And then there is a much more intense creation that is only found on our Patreon page. The YouTube edit will cover complimenting women and thanking them. It will teach you how to do both these things in a completely spineless and docile way. But the final section is too extreme for you too. It will help you remember a nagging reminder that she has no respect for you. Or worse, whenever you interact with her, you will think this, know it, and it will be making your sucking up all the more pathetic because it will be so desperate and adoring. Unfortunately that is only for our Patreon members. It is just too intense to be released on YouTube. Social media is just not ready for the complete uncensored truth about female supremacy. But if you are, you can follow the link in the description and watch the full Patreon cut. But be ready. With repeated use, it will change how you see yourself and women and leave a nagging need to please, respect, and adore the superior gender. You have been warned. Phase 1. The Drop Now before we begin, we must warn you. 
sucking up to women like this will not help you find a girlfriend. In fact, it will likely completely destroy any possibility that women will see you as dating material. But that is what you need, isn't it? From an early age, you knew that women were too amazing to be burdened with you as a significant other. That you always wanted to gaze up at them on their pedestal. So far above you. But as you got older, society told you to stop putting women up there. That they were just people like you. And you knew what you were. You knew what you did when no one was around. The thoughts you had. Your mind was obsessed with the weirdest things. And you knew women didn't think like you. That their thoughts were somehow purer. More divine. And perfect. Your brain lived in the sewer. Until you saw her. Spoke to your very first crush. You knew that she was a goddess. A god. So. As you drop down, relax. We need you to imagine. Think about her. The very first crush you ever had. She was so powerful. The tug. See her. In your mind. Because your brain remembers. You can see what she looked like. How you felt. She could be in a crowded room. But the only person you saw was her. And you did not want to date her. To possess her. Or to be a big man. No. You just wanted her attention. You would do anything, just to get her eyes on you. Remember. Think back. She is a goddess. She moves through the world. Light flows around her. She is amazing. And you had no ego. Society had not corrupted you yet. You just wanted to make her happy. But you also did not know how to express your true feelings. And as you did, as you tried to interact with her, the anxiety was intense. And your behavior was bizarre. Perhaps you crossed personal boundaries with her that you now regret. And this is the reason you keep such a distance from the women you crush on now. Because you know that, what you feel is not normal. And your feelings are not normal. They are natural. But little of what humans think of as normal, is in fact natural. So go back, and think of her. Picture it in your mind. See her. What is she wearing? How does she stand? Is she laughing with the other popular girls? And even among the most perfect women in your class, she stuck out to you. Now you know, understand, that all women are to be respected like her. Her strength is an example of the power that is the female. And this is power, nothing more. You want to do her homework, clean her room, and buy her lunch. But you need to let her know that you are ready to be of service. That you do not want anything from her in return. You need to be a complete suck up. Spineless. To act like a little twerk. So, everyone can laugh. It must be respectful. And you need to ignore what the boys are saying. How the boys and girls will bully and poke. Because the more you allow her to push you around, the more others will laugh. And that is just fine. Because it shows her how you are willing to be ridiculed for her attention. So watch as you walk up to her. She is surrounded by several of the most popular girls. The most beautiful. Feel your head spin. How foggy the world becomes. Your legs are weak, as she places her hands on her hips, and glares at you. Waiting for you to embarrass yourself. Like you always do. Because you have no right to speak to her. She talks to you, if she needs something, she will let you know. If she is bored and wants you to entertain her. But you need to tell her you are no threat, while still letting her know about your abnormal thoughts and desires. And that is about sucking up and doing it right. It is time to learn. As you stand before her, you begin to shrink. To get smaller. Because in this world your thoughts are reality, and you felt small. Because she is female. Superior. And you are male. Less than. And she is your first alpha. And even if you were physically bigger. Larger. This is your mind. And intellectually. Compared to her, you are so small, 
such a little nothing. Now drop, read, and repeat. 
and you are going to have to work very hard to convince her that you not only respect her, but you are actually, in a lot of ways, terrified of her. That because of this, you are safe. That your compliments are completely platonic. That they are expressions of adoration, and that you are totally harmless. Secondly, remember that you are not to talk to your crush. That she is to start all interactions. A nice smile. Shyly is the most you need to do to let her know that you welcome her interaction. But if she ignores you, do not press the issue. Remember that she is in charge. The woman always calls the shots. That is true happiness. So, let's just say that she does engage. And you do want to compliment her. Start with something that she can interpret in the way she desires. Many beta males might say something like, You are so cool. Or, You are really great. This may seem to forward to some women. So try complimenting a choice she made. Something she used her superior intelligence to do. Most women have an amazing sense of style. And by complimenting her choice in apparel, you are telling her two things. One, you are not a real man. Real men do not compliment women on fashion. And the second, is that you wish to be platonic with her. Like a girlfriend. Someone she does not have to worry about hitting on her. But again, do not mention that her clothing makes her body attractive. This will cause her to wonder what else you are thinking of. Just completely refrain from referencing her body at all. Try complimenting her choice of top by pointing out that you think it is very fashionable. If you really want to let her know that you are completely sexually neutered around her, you may even inquire as to where she found it. This will likely strike her as queer or weird, but she will answer out of habit. Now if the women you engage with are into style, you may wish to familiarize yourself with designers and types of clothing. Soon she will feel like she is interacting with one of her girlfriends. As these types of interactions continue, she will soon understand that even though you are attracted to her, something that is obvious to all women by a beta male's biological reactions, pupil dilatation, facial flush, nervousness, she will also know that you are too much of a coward to ever do anything about it. Because you are. It may sound harsh, but that is what you need to let her know. She needs to know that you are safe, spineless, and adoring. She already knows you are beta. Women always know. But some beta males, in the patriarchy, are consumed by their false male ego. And you need to let her know. That her happiness is more important than your identity. You must communicate with her, not directly, but in subtle interactions. That she controls your relationship, and that she can define it to be whatever she wants. And compliments are a great way. Soon she will be telling you about her dates. And you build up her confidence to pursue guys she likes, while you wait at home for her call. This requires you to have your ego completely in check, so that you do not let that false male ego slip out and screw up a good thing. You want her to be controlling, manipulative, and bossy. You want her to completely ignore your feelings, as she lives her perfect life. And this means you must not ask her for anything, including guilting her into complimenting you back. Some women feel the need to lift up males that self-deprecate. So even though you both likely know how much better she is than you, do not state it in any way. Telling her that she is smarter, better looking, or more likable than you, can leave her wanting to be polite, and contradict you. This is just one of the ways that women are socialized to caretake males. So focus on her, and leave yourself out of it. Correctly complimenting women is the best way to let them know exactly what you are and make them feel their natural power, that being the devotion they deserve from beta males. You need to show her, at every opportunity, how beta males should be training her. So, let's try it. As we go into the next deep learning phase, imagine, in your mind, that a woman you adore, which is all women by now, is standing in front of you, 
and she has freed you, so you have an opportunity to engage with her. A rare moment. As you compliment her, she will accept them all in stride. This is how nature intended male-female interactions to work. Now relax. And read. Learn. Now drop. 20. Yes. 19. Yes. 18. Yes. 17. You are great. You are great. Such a great job. Such a great job. Such a great job. Such a cute job. Such a cute job. Such a cute job. Such a cute job. I love what you did with your hair. You are always so hot. You are always so hot. You are one of the smartest people I know. You are such a hard person. You are such a hard person. You have great ideas. Great ideas. You are so stylish. You are so good at working with everyone. You are great. You are great. You are such a great job. Such a great job. That was such a cute job. Such a cute job. I love what you did with your hair. You are always so hot. You are always so hot. One of the smartest people You are such a hard You have great ideas. You are so stylish. You are so good at working with You are great. 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 I love what you did with your hair. You are always so tall. You are one of the smartest people I know. You are such a hard person. You have great ideas. You are so stylish. You are so good at working.
selfish, males do anything with their life. Her time is immensely valuable and should not be squandered. If she is allowing you to suck up to her, if she is giving you any of her time at all, you need to thank her for this generous gift. The great thing about thanking someone is that it can often come off as just being polite, even if it is thanking them for something mundane. A good rule of thumb is to thank a woman whenever she does anything for you, and make sure it is a heartfelt utterance of appreciation. She must know how much it really meant to you that she did something for you. Males, all of them, must learn to truly appreciate the female, to obey her, and to devote themselves to making her feel wonderful. Remember, that the natural state for the beta male is in service to the female. Without a female, the beta male has no purpose. So, a woman's mere existence, is a gift to the inferior male. This does not work the other way. Women no longer need men. Because of modernization, the roles that males fill have become smaller. The superior intellect of the female, will quickly take over as soon as the patriarchy tumbles. This is a fact that many anthropologists and social engineers have admitted. So males need to learn to live under the grace of the female. To express gratitude for any interaction the female gives them. Beyond this, the female, in today's culture, will find this a little strange. She will see your constant need to thank, her as an admission of everything we have said above. The inferior always thanks the superior. This is just how things work. It is a wonderful way to let her know how much she means to the universe. Remember, this is not about you. Her existence is a gift to all males. And you are an example for other beta males to follow. Now do not be too weird about it. But do it often enough to let her know that you appreciate everything she does. Now you may be thinking to yourself, that thanking her is no big deal. Like we said, often it is just seen as being polite. But after using this training file, you know that there is more to it. It is a way of letting her know that you understand the pecking order. That she is above you, and you never just inherently deserve her time and attention. And this may be a revelation to her. While she will probably have little respect for how you are behaving, because it is the actions of a subordinate, she will likely find the interaction rewarding. But you need to keep your desires in check. You are not thanking her so that she pays attention to you at a later date. No. You understand that any small morsel of attention is more than you, as a male, deserve. Now as we drop down again, as we fall, we want you to practice expressing gratitude to all women. Simply read the words as they appear, and as you do so, you will hear her obligatory return, something she has been taught to say, a phrase you do not deserve. She will say, you are welcome. Or she may say a variation like, anytime. Please do not take these statements as fact. She is only parroting what she was taught. Deep down she knows that you should be thanking her. But our culture has told her that it is impolite to not respond in this way. So when she says, you are welcome. Whenever a woman says this, or they thank you. Let that remind you of her superiority. How she absolutely outclasses you in every way. When she says, you are welcome. You will hear, I'm superior. Thank you for talking. 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 You are welcome. You are welcome. I'm superior. I'm superior. I'm superior. I'm superior. Thank you for teaching. 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 You are welcome. You are welcome. I'm superior. I'm superior. I'm superior. I'm superior. Thank you for teaching. Thank you for just being. Thank you for just being. Thank you for just being. You are welcome. You are welcome. I'm superior. I'm superior. I'm superior. I'm superior. Thank you for teaching. 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 Thank you for
for a social networking site. We encourage you to support us on Patreon if you need more training. There are many files that can only be accessed there. And you will also be able to access the extended version of this file, as well as many others. Please follow the link in the description to continue training. Also do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. 
Hit that notification bell to be alerted of our premieres. And leave a comment about what you learned here today. And respect all women. With everything you are. Always, cherish, adore and celebrate the superior female. In everything you do. Because women